X-ray binaries are a class of binary stars that are luminous in X-rays. The X-rays are produced by matter falling from one component, called the donor usually a relatively normal star, to the other component, called the accretor, which is very compact, a neutron star or black hole. The infalling matter releases gravitational potential energy, up to several tenths of its rest mass. As X rays, hydrogen fusion releases only about 0.7% of rest mass. The lifetime and the mass transfer rate in an X ray binary depends on the evolutionary status of the donor star, the mass ratio between the stellar components, and their orbital separation. An estimated 1041 positrons escape per second from a typical low mass X ray binary. Topic. Classification X-ray binaries are further subdivided into several sometimes overlapping subclasses, that perhaps reflect the underlying physics better. Note that the classification by mass high, intermediate, low refers to the optically visible donor, not to the compact X-ray emitting accretor. Low-mass X-ray binaries LMXBs, Soft X-ray transients SXTs, Symbiotic X-ray binaries Super-soft X-ray sources or super-soft sources SSXs, SSXB Intermediate mass X-ray binaries IMXBs Ultra-compact X-ray binaries UCXBs High-mass X-ray binaries HMXBs B. X-ray binaries Bexurbs Supergiant X-ray binaries SGXBs Supergiant fast X-ray transients SFXTs. Others X-ray bursters X-ray pulsars Microquasars radio jet X-ray binaries that can house either a neutron star or a black hole <laughs> Low-mass X-ray binary A low-mass X-ray binary LMXB is a binary star system where one of the components is either a black hole or neutron star. The other component, a donor, usually fills its Roche lobe and therefore transfers mass to the compact star. In LMXB systems the donor is less massive than the compact object, and can be on the main sequence, a degenerate dwarf, white dwarf or an evolved star red giant. Approximately 200 LMXBs have been detected in the Milky Way, and of these, 13 LMXBs have been discovered in globular clusters. The Chandra X-ray Observatory has revealed LMXBs in many distant galaxies. A typical low-mass X-ray binary emits almost all of its radiation in X-rays, and typically less than 1% in visible light, so they are among the brightest objects in the X-ray sky, but relatively faint in visible light. The apparent magnitude is typically around 15 to 20. The brightest part of the system is the accretion disk around the compact object. The orbital periods of LMXBs range from 10 minutes to hundreds of days. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Intermediate mass X-ray binary. An intermediate mass X-ray binary IMXB is a binary star system where one of the components is a neutron star or a black hole. The other component is an intermediate mass star. Topic: <laughs> High mass X-ray binary. A high mass X-ray binary HMXB is a binary star system that is strong in X-rays and in which the normal stellar component is a massive star, usually an O or B star or a blue supergiant. The compact X-ray emitting component is a neutron star or black hole. A fraction of the stellar wind of the massive normal star is captured by the compact object and produces X-rays as it falls onto the compact object. In a high-mass X-ray binary, the massive star dominates the emission of optical light, while the compact object is the dominant source of X-rays. The massive stars are very luminous and therefore easily detected. One of the most famous high-mass X-ray binaries is Cygnus X1, which was the first identified black hole candidate. Other HMXBs include Vela X1 not to be confused with Vela X, and 4U1700-37. Topic microquasar A microquasar or radio-emitting X-ray binary is the smaller cousin of a quasar. 
Microquasars are named after quasars, as they have some common characteristics, strong and variable radio emission, often resolvable as a pair of radio jets, and an accretion disk surrounding a compact object which is either a black hole or a neutron star. In quasars, the black hole is supermassive millions of solar masses, in microquasars, the mass of the compact object is only a few solar masses. In microquasars, the accreted mass comes from a normal star, and the accretion disk is very luminous in the optical and X-ray regions. Microquasars are sometimes called radio jet X-ray binaries to distinguish them from other X-ray binaries. A part of the radio emission comes from relativistic jets, often showing apparent superluminal motion. Microquasars are very important for the study of relativistic jets. The jets are formed close to the compact object, and timescales near the compact object are proportional to the mass of the compact object. Therefore, ordinary quasars take centuries to go through variations of microquasar experiences in one day. Noteworthy microquasars include SS-433, in which atomic emission lines are visible from both jets, GRS-1915 plus 105, with an especially high jet velocity and the very bright Cygnus X-1, detected up to the high energy gamma rays E greater than 60 MeV. Extremely high energies of particles emitting in the VHE band might be explained by several mechanisms of particle acceleration see Fermi acceleration and centrifugal mechanism of acceleration. Topic see also 4U0614 plus 091 LSI plus 61 SS433 Quasar Topic References Topic External links Negueruela, Ignacio, Torrijan, Jose Miguel, Rague, Pablo, Rebo, Mark, Smith, David M. 2008. Supergiant Fast X-ray Transients and Other Wind Accretors. A Population Explosion, The Nature and Evolution of X-Ray Binaries in Diverse Environments, 1010-252-256, Archive, 0801.3863. Bibcode, 2008aipc.1010, 252n. doi, 10.1063, 1.2945052. Doi 10.1063/1.2945052 bibcode 2008aipc.1010 252n Audio Kane Gay 2009 Astronomy Cast Episode 135 X-ray Astronomy